Hey guys, welcome to Trending Reviews. So with the OnePlus 6, I've been playing around with it for about a week and a half now. I've got some uh, cool tips and tricks for some of the features in this. So I'm just going to give you a quick run through of those top 5 features which I think are pretty awesome for the OnePlus 6. So let's get straight into it. Right guys, so the first option that I was going to go through is the buttons customization. Now if you go into settings, scroll down to buttons, now you have various options here. The first one I just wanted to point out is swap buttons. Now if you're used to the Samsung for example, the back button is on the right hand side at the bottom here. As you can see on the OnePlus 6, it's on the left and you have the option to switch that around. So when I go ahead and turn this on, the back button is now on the right hand side. So this is a personal preference for any of you, any of you guys that are switching from a Samsung phone to a OnePlus phone. Now I use this as well in other phones I've had where you can press the power button to turn on the camera. So I've got that switched on there which is really useful. Now amongst the three buttons along the bottom, you have the recent button, the home button and the back button. So now you can just customize them as much as you want. So you can either long press each button or double tap it to bring up a particular action. So for instance here, for the home button you can long press. I've got this set as the Google search assistant. So if I go ahead and do that. You can see Hi, it loads trending. up Google. I'm your assistant, here to help you throughout your day. Hey Google, what's the weather today? In Northolt today, it'll be cloudy with a forecast high of 73 and a low of 58. So that's pretty awesome. You can customize these three to do various different things. So if I open it up, it only has a limited number of actions, which you can see here. You can turn off the screen, do a voice search. You can open and close the notification bar at the top or open and close the menu and so on. So. I'm hoping that one day there would be an update that you can customize some of these actions but at the moment you're limited just to just these ones. Now if you scroll back to the top you have navigation bar and gestures as well which I think is pretty cool. So the navigation buttons along the bottom here are fixed. Now I can go ahead and hide that by selecting this option. So when you open up for example Chrome or various other apps you'll have to swipe up from the bottom to display it. So if I go back here, open up Chrome, there's a button here on the left which means hide. Now it becomes a full screen display, which I think is pretty cool. Now to bring that menu back up, you just swipe up from the bottom and you can see it open there and you can go back to recents and go back to where you want. Now the last one is a bit like the iPhone 10, where you can do navigation gestures and just get rid of the home button completely so it wouldn't appear anymore. So for example, if you wanted to swipe up from the bottom, that will take you home, so like that. You can swipe down to bring the notification center up, swipe up. To bring up the recent opened items, you can just swipe up and just hold and it will open up the recents as well. So there, there you have it. The next thing I wanted to show you is gestures. Now this is pretty cool. You can uh, do various different things with different swipes of the phone. So just running through, you have a fingerprint gesture where you can long press to take a photo. So for example, if you're taking a picture on the camera, you can uh, touch the fingerprint sensor at the back. If you just hold it, it will take a photo. And you have a couple of system gestures where you can flip to mute which basically means if you're getting a call just flip the phone over it will mute the call and I really like this one you can do three finger screenshots so if you swipe with three fingers on the screen it will take a screenshot and one thing I like about it is you can select not just what's in the viewport but actually the entire page so if I go into a website let's say I want to take a screenshot of just more than this page so maybe half the page I can do that by swiping with three fingers and then there's an option here to scroll and it will keep scrolling taking a screenshot until you tap the device to stop so if I stop about there it'll be done and you can see it's giving me a very long screenshot of the page that I've selected and then obviously you can share that and do whatever you need to do with it you also have double tap to wake the phone so when the phone is locked and you can see it wakes up you've got options for music control but one thing I like is that you can draw shapes on the lock screen. So I have one selected for the O shape, which allows me to open the flashlight. Now you have various options. You can open up all different types of apps with these uh, drawing gestures. So let me quickly show you this one. So, so on the lock screen, I'm gonna draw a circle and you'll see the flashlight will come on. There you go. Now if I do another circle, it will turn off. For me, that's pretty cool. There's various different options you can do for all these different shapes, so definitely do check that out. 
The next thing I like is the display called lift up display. Now what that is, is if you go into display, ambient display, it's called lift up display and that allows you to create a clock on the lock screen. So you might have this as always on display on like the Google Pixel and the Samsung S9. So you can always select the different types of displays. At the moment it's limited to just these four, but I'm hoping they will come out with themes in future updates so you can customize the way your uh, ambient or lift up displays actually look. So you can choose like that view, which I think is pretty cool, or analog clocks, whichever ones you prefer. Now one other thing I like about the OnePlus 6 is that it comes with a specific gaming mode. Now if you scroll down and go to advanced in settings, scroll down again, and the second to last option is gaming mode. Now, this basically allows you to block notifications and use the best type of settings possible to enjoy the games that you play. So, I've got PUBG Mobile installed on this device and it allows me to add the games that I want to enable for specifically using gaming mode. Now, of course, notifications are blocked, but OnePlus have mentioned that this can also increase the processing power to the games by reducing some of the processing power to background apps that might be running. So that's pretty useful and I've used it a couple of times by playing PUBG Mobile. I found it to be a really smooth experience. I haven't encountered any issues. I've asked people to send me messages during it and nothing has interrupted me. So once I closed the game then I realized that I have a few outstanding notifications to check. So for me the game is loading really fast. I'm not having any issues and I've been playing around with this for about a week. All my gaming has been awesome on there. I have no clue where I'm going right now, but there you go. One other feature I like about the uh, OnePlus 6 is the camera portrait mode. Now it comes with an option, if you switch to portrait mode, there's a little filter icon on the top here. That allows you to change the background lights, provided that you have lights in your shot to be in either bubbles like a bokeh effect, hearts or stars. Now this has to be taken with maybe fairy lights or street lights. It has to be in a very well lit area where you're taking a portrait mode, there's good lighting on you as well as visibility on the lights in the background for that to work, otherwise it wouldn't detect anything. So here you can see an example of me taking a portrait picture and I can see I can switch to the various different portrait lighting backgrounds. It does a pretty cool job, I think it can be a little bit better, a little bit smoother. I think it should be able to pick up lights in the background a little bit faster than it does at the moment but nonetheless I think that's a pretty cool feature and I'll be looking forward to any updates they make to this in the future. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked that video. So if you do have any questions, if you find other features in the OnePlus 6 really good then do drop a comment below. If there's any other things that you'd like to recommend to other users then please do drop a, a comment for them as well. I hope you liked the video, please do give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.